Hi, this is Kerry Artek with Wicked Stocks, bringing you the daily Apple report for Thursday, February 23rd, 2023. Before I jump into the charts, I just want to encourage you to please click like if you would each and every time. It helps us out a great deal. And subscribe to the Wicked Stocks YouTube channel. It'll provide you notification each and every time new content has been uploaded. And if you would, please share the content with friends and colleagues. And also check out wickedstocks.com. We put out a lot of material every day and throughout the week that you never see on YouTube, including Triple Q and spy analysis, two individual stock picks a week, so forth and so on. Anyway, let's jump into the charts. I like to start big picture, work my way into the day. Apple uh, tested long-term support in the low 120s in early January. And following that test, we'd mentioned how that 170.42 channel top would be in reach at some point in 2023. We are probably two-thirds of the way there, but we have backed off, obviously, for the last week or so. Um, on the way up, this is still worth mentioning because it is now meaningful support. It is still worth mentioning this 142.85 channel top that is now part of a range of support down to 141.81 that I'll show in just a moment. Uh, that is in reach if we close today below 147.83, which I will also show in just a moment. But 142.85 is a long-term channel top that we settled above several weeks ago, then uh, indicating essentially 172.81 within three to five months or less. And so we'll get to that in a moment as well. Now for the day itself, uh, we did uh, break through to the downside. That 148.29 channel bottom was a little higher actually on Wednesday. We also have the low of the high at 147.83, and I'm calling this a range now between 148.29 and 147.83. We dipped below it. Uh, the market can do that, obviously, shake out some longs or those attempting a long position, perhaps. But this is still good bottom picking territory through the rest of the week, because from here, from 148.29, uh, the next upside objective, assuming we continue holding above it, is 155.15 over the next three to five days. And in fact, upside today, I do have 149.99. This is a new descending one-third speed line, likely to contain intraday buying pressures, possibly for the day itself. This is well suited for aggressive day traders. Once we test 149.99, we can quite easily fall back to 148.29 on an intraday basis. We could trade inside this area for a good part of the day. If we push through 149.99, I think we've got a good low for the day. Uh, the question is how high can we go from there? I don't see 155.15 today. 151.06 I think is likely. Uh, beyond that, it's really sort of um, you know anybody's guess. But I will say that if we close today above 149.99, we should over the next two to three days reach up to that 155.15 channel top where we can top out on a two to three day basis. We could trade inside, you know, this 148.29 floor to 155.15 ceiling all the way through next week. And if we close above 155.15 in the coming days, then that longer term resistance in the low 160s, um, this 152.04 I don't see that as significant today. In fact, I got 152.27. That's an upside Fibonacci level, FYI. But the low 160s, let me get back to the point I was trying to make, which is to say that if we were to close above 155.15 between now and, say, the end of next week, then the low 160s, this 160.56 descending two-thirds speed line becomes the next three- to five-day target, where up in here we can top out on a longer-term basis, at least for a week possibly into later March. And if we settle above 160.56 over the next few weeks, then that 172.81 three to five month objective is then narrowed to within two to three weeks where we can top out at least on a quarterly, possibly annual basis. So I'm going to get back to sort of the... Um, the, the swing trade, uh, the three to five day swing trade, I call it, you're bottom picking the low 148 up one for upper 147 handle in anticipation of the mid 150s over the next three to five days. If we close above 149.99, that's actually a sign of go with strength. So you could stay long overnight, perhaps into the mid 150s where profits can be taken on a short term basis, possibly a short sale uh, back into the upper 140s again over the following three to five days. If we close above 155.15, the low 160s become an objective, um, and that is a get-long opportunity for the three- to five-day swing trader. And in the low 160s, you could – 
uh, consider a place either liquidating a long position that you have or even perhaps setting a short position, possibly a 140 out of the money put. I wouldn't expect to see the lower 140s, but it is quite possible that after testing the low 160s, we could fall back over the following three to five weeks into the low 140s. Inversely, closing above 160.56. If you bought that 140 put, I would liquidate it and reach for a 172 out of the money call that doesn't expire for at least a month or so. So that would be kind of the big picture play. Let's cover the downside one more time. I don't think I did thoroughly. And that is to say, where are you? Where is it? There it is. So if we break, let's say, 147.83 today. 146.32 is in reach. Possibly 144.69. That would be quite a sell-off today. Um, I would say that if we open today below 147.83, for whatever reason, you could, uh, uh, you know, assume, I hate to use that word, but 144.69 would be a real clear likelihood if we open today below 147.83. 144.69, able to contain daily selling pressures. But keep in mind that as the day wears on and it looks like we're going to close below 147.83, then our next three to five day downside objective is 142.85. And that is once again, this long-term channel top that's coming down at a progressive uh, pace in combination with this rising two-third speed line. Now, all of this is one big mess. I don't even like this chart. Uh, uh, I'm going to be taking it off tomorrow. I don't want you even paying any attention to 152.31 to 154.74, but I do like this rising speed line. I'm seeing if I have it in any other charts, and I do not. My apologies. Um, so what I would like to show you and tell you is that if we close below 147.83, sorry, then the 141.81 rising speed line becomes our next three to five day target. And that is once again here. And that 141.81 speed line is lining up with that 142.85 long-term channel top right about now. So, you know, in terms of sell signal, um, in terms of the two to three, three to five week outlook, I can probably just uh, simply tell you that if we close below 148.29 to 147.83, that is just a three to five day sell signal into the lower 140s where a, a buy opportunity presents itself in a pretty meaningful way at this 142.85 channel top. We can bottom out through March and then from here turn back up again. And uh, within a matter of three to five weeks of testing 142.85, we could actually reach that low 160s again. And I think that that pretty much covers it, actually, for Thursday's Daily Apple Report. Please click like and subscribe and check us out on wickestocks.com. We're back tomorrow with Fridays.